So if you're anything like me, you've been waiting for a while. Waiting for VanQuest to kind of upgrade their sling game, right? No knock against the VanQuest Dendrite. I've been using that sling for years. It's an excellent everyday carry sling. But I was excited, so excited to see that they came out with the Teco. I have the VanQuest Teco 6 on me. Rocking it has been my everyday carry for the last couple of weeks. And I also have the four liter version, which I use for a different purpose. And we're gonna get into all of that right now. So this is a better look of the Teco 6 right here. I am gonna show you the Teco 4. I told you I would show you how I've been using it. This bag right here is the C-Tactical 15 V3 review coming soon. But yeah, so this is the 4. Let me move the bag out of the way. This is the 4 right here. And this is the 6. Teco 4 is definitely a little smaller than the 6. You can see the size differences. Oh, let me line it up a little bit. You can see the size differences there. Bigger, smaller. I've been using the Teco 4 as a standalone, like, everyday carry organizer, like a tech organizer, which you can do. And I'm going to show you that because it has that capability. Innovation. Thank you, VanQuest. Innovation. But other than that, between the, the Teco 4 and the Teco 6, there are some slight differences. I'll try to point them out as we go along. Well, first thing you're going to notice, right, as we're looking at these, the Teco 6 up on the top is made out of a 500D Cordura 6.6. This is in the multi-cam black. The 4 down here at the bottom is made of their 400D Urban Blend. Both of these slings, like I said before, are out of their urban line. So it is what it is. They're great slings, meant to be a little bit more gray man than a more tactical look. So I like that a lot. Let's get into the six because I've been using that primarily as a sling. So let's start that. I'll pull the four in while I, you know, see a difference or a change. I'll say, hey, well, let's pull the four in. But yeah. One of the first things that they changed that I like about this, right? We're going to go through the lights first. Is they darken the color on the VanQuest tag on the front of the bag. If you look at some of the older versions, especially like the Dendrite, they had a lighter color leather accent piece, which is cool. Small change. They also added it to the shoulder strap right here. So that's a little darker. That's pretty cool. And I don't think it was, there was a... Uh, little logo on the shoulder strap on the dendrite let's move on all right things that i like this front pocket right here double ykk aqua guard zips with the spartan zipper pulls on the four i told you i was going to bring it back in it's a single zip on the four right it is zips across right aqua guard zip spartan zipper pull but only one of them right so that's one change then you open this front section up. In the front right here, you already know. They hit you with the high visibility interior. You have space in here. It's not as much space as I would like, but there is space in here to put some items in the front. Now, in the six, which difference for the four, you do have like a little organizer in the front. This is some bungee slots. There's three of them here. So in the six, this is a cheap old knife that I really have liked over the years. This is the K-Bar Dozier. You can find this knife for like 20 bucks. It's super lightweight, but it's, it's a full size knife. And that's why I like it. So it's a lock back or a mid lock um, knife. Some people don't like mid locks. I do. Uh, especially if it's a lightweight knife, I can kind of hand it to a buddy. It's not going to cost me, you know, it's not one of my more expensive knives. So if somebody needs to use a knife, they can definitely use that one right there. We'll move on. In the middle, I have the Olight O Clip. Been using this for a while. It's extra small. It's USB-C rechargeable. It's nice. 
all right <laughs> it's nice it's tiny that's why i like it and then i have some meat mini g2 pilot pens and a sharpie in there but this space is large you could definitely put some larger items in there and you do have like one of these rings you'll see these throughout so you can clip your keys there is a dongle in the main section that you can use to like clip your keys in different places if you wanted to clip your keys in this main this excuse me this front section you could so double zippers and a little admin section now on the front right here you have this big loop line fill so i'll grab my little green room 136 tuna 10 i got the baba yega re in right there so you could put that up there if you wanted to i've been running it clean like i like the clean look on this so i, I do run a little you know some re's and stuff like that on this little tuna tent but when i'm going in the store and stuff i don't necessarily want a whole bunch of stuff on the outside of the bag it's already camo that's enough for me on the main section i like this right lockable ykk zips you get into it you can open it up so really really familiar organizational system in this taco that kind of reminds me of like what's in the katara and what's also in the vanquest dendrite so you have these like, like let me take some of the stuff out so we can actually see what's going on i have my max expedition mooring pouch this carries low like hygiene stuff we'll set that off to the side so we can really deep dive into this sling right here you have these pockets right here in the back now in the dendrite i didn't really like these pockets the dendrite sling that vanquest also sells but because the way that the teco is higher it's a it's a taller sling bag these pockets work out and they hold things a lot better so this is like my tech stuff this is the carbo night quartz carbo 10,000 small little battery bank rolling skip wear power cord or whatever little change thing i don't know why i'm carrying that notorious edc sent me this cloth i've been holding on to it so i just clean off my tech stuff with that and then in the back here you have uh, field book but there's a nice little section back here where you can like stick a tablet the ipad mini does fit in this back section which is nice this is the little dongle i was telling you about got my truck keys on it there's a loop up here right and then there's a loop on this side as well so you can move the position of that keychain from left to right depending on what you need so I got some patches in here, George Define patches. If I ever run into y'all or y'all want some of these patches, check the link in the description. I'll definitely hook you up. They're super cheap. But, all right, back to this main section, right? I do have the Leatherman Arc. I've been using this a lot, more than I thought I would, and I really like it. The Leatherman Arc is expensive, but it's also excellent. So you can see down here at the bottom, this thing is not that deep and that's probably gonna we'll talk about that when i start talking about the things that i don't like about this sling i wish it was a little bit deeper right so uh on the other side you have this big pocket i like vanquest's tough mesh it's see-through like a white mesh so it's really it's just a really nice material every time they use it in different bags i'm like yes I continue putting this in bags because it's awesome yeah so you also have the vanquest spartan zipper pulls inside with the pocket and you see those top loops up here as well if i could fold this back you can see you could put your keychain over there if you want or hook anything else you want so in this pocket i do carry snacks now got me some little nature valley whatever granola bars that that i gotta be really hungry to reach out for the granola bars but one of the changes that you'll see between the six which we have in front of our face right now and the four is this loop line feel down here at the very bottom there's like a little loop line feel down here when you check out the four right when you open the four up still double zippers they're lockable aqua guard on the front i mean on the main section so when i open this up down there at the bottom you can see there's no loop line fill and one more change between the four and the six on the four in the front 
I have my little personal journal there. That organizational panel that I showed you on the six is not on the four. So just keep that in mind. It's not like a deal breaker. For me, it is not because I think that pocket is a little smaller on the four. So, hey, I don't really need it. I don't really need it. So I like this organization inside of the Teco. I like the utilization of the pockets. They even came back and give you some little spots right here where you can loop, um, lash in some things or clip in some things. So definitely like it a lot, man. Inside you have the loop line field in the very back. So if you wanted to carry a firearm, you could. If you wanted to put some more organizational panels like the sticky admin panels that VanQuest sells, you could put that in the back. But I felt that I had more than enough organization built into this uh, bag right here. So I'm gonna take you to the next thing that I really like. And it's got to do with this shoulder strap. Now, you guys already know, for me, I like a, like a robust shoulder strap. However, I found that this one is really nice and has a functionality that I don't really see that much. Now it all comes down to this buckle and this strap. So this is a quick adjust and it really works well. Cause when you pull it, it just cinches up so quickly, it takes the adjustment and it doesn't move out of the way. Now, the strap is about an inch and a half wide and it's soft. It's a seatbelt webbing, it's a softer seatbelt webbing. You can see how it's laying in my hands. It's very flexible, malle malleable. So it's really, it's really nice. So I would be the guy to be like, hey, where's the pad? I need a pad, right? <laughs> I'm always that, that guy, right? However, this is comfortable. Now, these buckles right here, because they kind of shift and move, right, like that, kind of oscillate, that means that this bag will, will move with you as you're walking, which is really nice, right? So, especially if you're carrying it over long distances and adjust. Not only does it shift and move with you, these buckles will are your kind of like your disconnect when you want to take the bag off, maybe you don't want to put it over your head, you could just push those buttons and they disconnect and then they lock in. There is a slight squeak sometimes in these in these turning points. I have noticed a little slight squeak. It's nothing like super annoying or anything like that, but you will hear like a little quick quick so <laughs> from time to time. And you're like, I was like, what 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 is that? And then I when I when I was like, is that the is that these buckles? But it's nothing. It's not, it's not a, a super big deal. I just want to tell you about it before you get the bag, right? So the way that I use the four as a tech pouch is this, right? I take these buckles completely off. So you could take the strap and stick it in a larger bag or you can stick it inside the sling, however you want to do it. All right. So, and these buckles completely fold away, right? You stick them in and it's like, they disappear like there was, they were never there. I really like this. It makes it very versatile. So if I want to carry a sling bag, I can carry my sling. If I want to put it in my larger backpack, I can put it in my larger backpack. I like that. You know, it's, it's giving you extra functionality for the same money. So thank you, VanQuest, right? So let's walk around. I'm going to put this buckle back on and get it out of there. Put the buckle back on. I want to. I'm not editing any of this out because I want you guys to see kind of how fast you can do this. It doesn't take long at all, right? And it just snaps back in and it's back to sling mode, which is cool. So let's continue to walk around the rest of this bag right here. We got some lashing points down here at the bottom. If you want to like loop something in, I'm not sure what you want to loop in on a sling bag, but VanQuest made it a point to give it to you some loops down here. So that's pretty cool. And then you have the grab handle. This is, let's move into the stuff I don't like real quick. I don't like this grab handle, VanQuest. I wish that you would have done something different on the top right here. Because this, it's a grab handle, yes. I give you credit because most, most sling bags don't give you a grab handle. But this is like, a, it felt like an afterthought. That's how it felt when I was grabbing this. I, I, I wish it was a little bit more robust. It's just about a half inch wide piece of that nylon webbing, which is all right, right? So that that is that. Now, one thing that I will say is 
I wish instead of giving us these loops on the side, because I'm not lashing anything to this sling. I'm just not, right? I wish you would have took these, these loops away on the side and it allowed me to come down another maybe inch. So my, when I looked inside of the, the, the sling itself, it would have opened up wider. That would have been really, really nice. But they gave us loops on the side, so we kind of have to stop the zipper line where it is. So that, that's one thing. There is a pocket on the back. I think this was a great idea for like money. You got the stacks, you wanna put the stacks in there. You can stick the stacks in there. So, or if you wanna put your passport, you can put it in there. High vis lining, no organization, but you do get a VanQuest Spartan zipper pull back here. Now, the next thing that I don't like about this sling, right, is the fact that it's fatter on the bottom than it is than it is on the top. And that kind of restricts the volume space and then also the shape with the it's just the odd shape to me. The, the these these things are odd shaped to me, like when you're carrying them as a sling. That's my my only gripe. Now, it's excellent, hear me, it's excellent when you wanna stick it on the top of the bag. Like, in the top of the bag, you see how it's this oval shape fits the top of like a lot of like the Goruck or the Sea Tactical bags at the top. It has this kind of U-shape at, at the top of the bag. So this shape is excellent, but far as a, just primarily as a sling it's an odd shape to me just to me it, i wish it would like instead of it kind of coming in down here at the bottom kind of curving in i wish it was straight and it, that would have gave me a little bit more volume yes the sling would have been a little bit bigger but it wouldn't kind of look like a football that's just me that's just my 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 thing and something that i noticed because let's be real we we buy gear, it's sometimes a part of it for the appearance, right? So the appearance has to be right for you to spend your money on something. So if the, the appearance for me, when I put it on, I was like, okay, the functionality, excellent. Appearance, secondary, I wish it was improved. Still an excellent sling. But yeah, man, that's the VanQuest Techo. This is the six, this is the four. They are basically the same. I don't think I ran over anything. I think the black looks really the black one looks really good. I like I like how clean the black one is. It doesn't for me. I know there's guys out there. They're gonna they're gonna pull them res out and they're gonna stick them all on the top. And VanQuest gave you to do that the space to do all of that. But the look of this by itself, it looks pretty damn good to me. It looks pretty damn good to me. I really like the look of the um, Urban Blend. I wish I had the Urban Blend in the six as well because this this looks really clean um the the loop line i would just put like maybe one R, little re right here that would be enough for me but i'm a minimalist guy right i'm a minimalist guy but yeah the urban blend looks really good those are my critiques these things are brand new i haven't seen too many reviews on them i love to see the innovation that vanquest is doing they're moving outside of just the the run and gun stuff and actually giving us stuff that we can use day to day so yes keep it going i mean i got my minor nitpicks but i'm one guy man van quest quality is always excellent stitching quality materials yes yes and yes thank you <laughs> thank you prices i think the prices are reasonable i think the prices are reasonable the four over here is 105 right 105 i think is reasonable right the six bigger a lot more material well a little bit more material uh, a lot more a little bit more material 135 for the multi-cam black you can get it in the urban blend for a little bit cheaper so the multi-cam black i think they're up to charging like ten dollars because of the materials maybe cordura is a little bit more than the urban black but for me I like the black urban black. That thing is nice. I like that a lot. <laughs> all right, guys. That's all I got, man. VanQuest, again, thank you for sending them out to me for checking to, to check out and share with everybody on the channel. And, guys, I will see you next time. If you like the video, subscribe. If you loved it, subscribe. We got more gear. That bag, that bag is next.
that bag is next. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.